Okay, so, director's cut. This is the new film from Don Capria. Uh, he wrote and directed it. The film is produced by um, Don, along with Joe LaManna, Louise Lombardi, Brett Marks, Noah Marks, Paul Travers, and Leon Vataja. It's executive produced by Leon Trammell, Lisa Tomei, uh, Donny Lamatina, Rafael Carlado, Anthony Carpentino, with line production from Anthony Argento. John P. Kennedy handled the music. Bliss Boussant was on cinematography. Noah Marks edits the piece. Adrian Stern took care of casting. Jesse Malins was production design. Art direction is Andrew Bean. Ra Ramondo Salano is art direction. Kai Boussant was taking care of costume design. Hair makeup, special makeup and effects. We have Jared Baluk, Pete Gurner, Roxanne Rizzo and Brian Spears. Okay, so our cast. Alright, we've got the band, right? There's Jay, played by Tyler Ivey. Um, his girlfriend, Jen. Played by Haley Cassidy. There's John. Played by Greg Popa. Uh, John's girlfriend is Val. Played by Danielle Cooch. We've then got Menace. Played by Brandy Ucha. There's Juan. Played by Louise Rocky Bakig. Galopo. Um, do, 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 do. And their manager, AJ, played by Darren Hickook. Uh, then there is Mr. Director, played by Louise Lombardi. His assistant, Babs, played by Lucy Hart. Okay. So the gist of the tale, excited to shoot their first music video, a punk rock band ventures into the woods of PA never to return. Hmm. So yeah, that is, uh, that's the gist of this one, people, right? It's a, um, yeah, it, I think... Right now, sometimes the information we find on like IMBD, not necessarily always correct, right? But I think this is Don's feature directorial debut. You know, he's done some shorts, he's directed music videos. Yeah, but yeah, I think this is his first feature. So, I think there's things that we have to take into consideration, you know, which is eh, always interesting, All right? I think it's always interesting when we see these things. Now, the it, we, we start off like it, it's kind of... I don't know, right? Because we get like, this is a story about suicide disease, right? Their last post of social media was this and they were never seen again, right? Then we get some kind of 
screenshots of news articles and things like that. There's an allusion to a lawsuit, right? But, yeah, we then are kind of on Jay working out, right? Jay working out. I mean, we also see a lot of shots of this manor house, right? This mansion, different rooms, and it looks like something's gone down there, right? So then we see Jay's working out. We, we're we seeing these masks on the wall and everything, his girlfriend. And, yeah, it, it's this introduction, right? Now, it would seem that there's friction. There's friction in the band. Jay wants to shoot a midi... A, a, Jay wants to um, either shoot a music video or record new songs. Like, that's it. He doesn't want to do anything else. The rest of the band want to do some gigs because they're like, we need to get money. You know, they've been absent for a minute, right? It's alluded to a death of a friend plays into that. We don't know if it's just a friend or maybe they were in the band as well. It's, it's not really overly sure on what happened. You know, but this thing happened, and yeah, they're at odds. They're at odds. There is an option, but at first Jay doesn't want it, and then he's down for it, right? So, that has them going to meet Mr. Director. Now, the idea of this, yeah, you, you get. Right, you understand it all makes sense in a way. You know, I, I think um references for this were like saw, you know. Um and I see that, right? I get that. You understand what they're trying to say. Um it's not necessarily a new idea. We've seen similar things, you know. But, yeah, I mean, you know, it's an interesting thing, right? Like, everyone's got their own take on these things. So it's just like, okay, let's, uh, let's get down with it, right? Now, I think a big thing with this film... There's some interesting concepts and vibes and all of that. But I think a big thing is, it, it's like the chemistry of the band. You've got to be able to buy this and the emotion, right? Because there feel, there's a lot of emotion weighing down on what's happening. And not all of that kind of... Uh, comes through you know like it says the band are excited to shoot their first video i don't know if uh that's necessarily true right i don't know if they because we don't really get that right there's just this odd tension all the way through you know, when they're in the van, they're not communicating like a group of friends. You know? That's not really going down. Which makes it all a bit odd. Right? And then we have other things go... Like, Jay's moody all the way through. But there's no nuance to it right it, it, it's like when they're arguing originally about video recording songs kind of looks like he's gonna cry right which is 
all fine. But that's the emotional vibe you get from him throughout this conversation. You know, so you're just like, okay. But if we're referencing a dead friend, you know, all these other things, they 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 should be this roller coaster. You know, we should see these different things coming from him, and we don't really. You know, we don't really get that. And that's the thing with some of the others in the film. I think the the best performance, I would say here, probably comes from Brandy Ucha. Right? Because this character, we, we see some fear, we see some, you know what I mean, just some fear. Fuck it, energy. You know what I mean? Like, that's all there. But not necessarily from everyone. Right? We have things alluded to, right? Like the death of this friend. That's alluded to, right? The gap, a lawsuit, right? The, all of these things are alluded to, but never really explored. Right, we've got AJ, the manager. There's things with AJ that seem to be a consideration, but again, nothing is explored, which becomes a bit of a problem. Right, the film kind of states that we haven't heard from this band again after this post. So you get the vibe that Is this, like, meant to be a found footage film? Now, some of it is, right? Some of it is, like, this this, um, footage has been uploaded to a website, which, that's all fine. But then it's just like, okay, so how did we get this other footage? You know? It's just a little bit like, okay... To do this film, and to do it in the way that we've, it has been kind of put out there, someone in the in the group needs to be filming, right? Because then you can go, oh, okay, so they found a the camera, blah blah boom. Like there was that, um, I believe it was in VHS ninety nine. No, the last one was Beyond that we covered the other week, right? But the one before that, I think there was a short of a band, right? Going to this supposedly haunted spot to perform, right? And they were filming, right? So it all makes sense in the found footage, right? But with this... It's a little unclear. It's a little unclear. Right? Now, the mansion... Because it says they get lost in the woods, but they go, they're go going to a mansion. Right? They're going to a mansion. And there's bits in the mansion where you're just like, this doesn't feel like it's a mansion. Like, we've got uh, Jay and Val. There's a scene with Jay and Val in the toilets. But it looks like it's a toilet from a locker room. You know, it's not a toilet that you'd find in a mansion. Right? It's a little bizarre. Right? Doesn't necessarily add up. So I don't know if, like, they use the exterior and some bits, like the entranceway, but then some of the, the room scenes were shot somewhere else. Right, but yeah, you're just kind of scratching your head like, wait, if this is a mansion, what the fuck is that? Because I've never seen that style of toilet, bathroom, in a mansion. You you wouldn't do it, right? Because you'd have multiple bathrooms all over the shop. You wouldn't have one that's got, like, stalls and you're right, like, what, what is that, you know? 
So we have odd things like this. The, the basement does again, right? It doesn't kind of match what this is. Right now, you could say it's not a basement and it's another floor. That makes more sense. But if it's a basement, yo, that's, that, you know what I mean? It's, it doesn't feel like that. Right, so we're just getting these things that don't necessarily vibe, things that don't necessarily correlate with what we're being given, you know, and the band haven't shot a music video before, right, we hear they're broke, suppose they spent a lot of their savings on the masks, which the masks look paper mache, which is fine, like, there's no, like, issue with the mask per se, but you wouldn't believe that they cost a whole heap of cash, you know what I mean, but, yeah, like, you're gonna shoot a video, and Jay's adamant of shooting a video of, of, for war, but there seems to be no treatment, Right, like, you'd think he'd have this vision for it, right, because supposedly, in the, in the info for the film, it's like the band clash with the director over, you know, the vision, but the band don't come with any vision for the video, right, they're just like, oh, what's with all the chains, I don't know about that, but that's it, right, you, you'd think, like, this is their song, right, they're the band, they should have a vision for what it is, it can be dumb, it can be fucked up, it can be like, that would never work, but that's the whole thing, right, because they've never done it before, but at least have something, you know what I mean, so we don't, we don't get that, I think there's, <sighs> hmm, uh, there's something about Mr. Director, and uh, it's hard to put because you don't want to give anything away, but it's just like um, the physical, let's just say the physical appearance does not mesh with something we're meant to, uh, yeah. It doesn't match, right? Like, I feel there's something that is obvious because of the physical appearance. That's all I can say on that front, you know? So you're just like, mm, I don't know if I buy this, right? I don't know if I buy... Like, even the way they're interacting, right? They're, they're in the middle of nowhere with this dude. And, I mean, firstly, like, no one's... The whole phone situation. If you're going somewhere to shoot, wouldn't you be like, okay, so this is what we need. We need to have phone situ, you know, coverage because we're looking to, you know, what I mean, like shoot clips, upload them to social media. Right? We need to upload our files. Just boom, 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 boom. Like, is this here? Is this here? Is this here? What's available to us? What should we bring? Don't get any of that. You know, we, we don't really get any of that. And yeah, you, you, you're you having someone do this thing for free for you. But the way they're all interacting, it's just like, this is, this ain't good. Like from jump, it's just this weird vibe with with all of this, which kind of like, I don't know if you'd go in with that energy, being in this situation, you know, I, you're just like, I don't know if that works, right, there is something that is, I didn't quite get, because when we're, like, some of the camera work is kind of, like, shaky and all over the place, 
But when we're kind of following Babs a lot of the time, we get like close ups of Babs crutch. And you're just like, wait, why? Right? I, I, I don't really know why. You know, is it because you want, like, at first I was just like, wait, so is the whole transition thing meant to be an issue of the film? Right? Is someone going to bring this up and this spark? So I don't know. But that never happens. So then you're just like, why are we getting these close ups of Babs Crutch? You know, like, it would be weird to get close ups of anyone's crutch, right? Because you're just like, wait, why, the, why is the camera there? Why aren't we focusing on the other elements that are happening here? You know, that was a very weird part of this film. That, that really was. Uh, it's, yeah, as I said, look, it's, there's some interesting ideas here. But, there's, you know, there's just these things that don't necessarily add up right I am sure Don has a clear picture like if you sat down with him he'd be like yo this is what we were looking to do and this is because of this 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 and this and he'd be like yo great that makes so much sense but I just don't think it all comes out in the wash you know what I mean but it is his first feature so you know, we'll see what comes next, right? We will see what comes next. Now, listen, if you're a fan, like, because, you know, the, the VHS 99 short, that wasn't perfect, right? But I think there was, like, these bird people, if I remember, like, these weird zombie bird people. Yeah, anyway, anyway, anyway. If you dug that, I think you'd probably like this, right? I think if you like the VHS anthologies as a whole, I think you would like Director's Cut, you know? Um, what other things kind of would play into this one? You know, there's, there's been a, a few kind of shudder things that you just be like, ah, yeah, I can see that one. Um, but yeah, I think the VHS is probably the biggest benchmark, I would, uh, I would say. So, yeah, if you're a fan of that, right, I think you might like this. If you're a fan of Lumia, I think you would like this. Okay, so it drops on the 31st on uh, VODs all over the place. So yeah, if Director's Cut sounds like it could be for you, then go check it out. I believe it's also getting a limited cinema run as well so yeah keep an eye out for it people director's cut